Today I'm gonna to show you how you can make your own water slide images for your projects. There are a couple things you need before you start making your own water slides. Water slides are a super easy way to add colorful designs to your tumblers and other projects. There are a couple things you need to know before you get started. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to make a water slide image, how to print it, and how to add it to your cup, along with a few other things you need to know along the way. If this is your first time here, my name is Allison, and here on this channel, I teach you all about how to make and sell tumblers as well as other crafts. I upload new videos every single week, so consider subscribing below so you don't miss any new tutorials coming up soon. So let's first talk about what supplies you need in order to make your water slide decals. You need a printer and you need specific water slide paper. Depending on the type of printer you have, you're gonna to have to buy the proper paper. So if you have a laser printer, you're gonna buy specific paper for laser printers. If you have an inkjet printer, you're going to buy specific paper for your inkjet printer. Whether or not you have a laser printer or an inkjet printer, it doesn't really matter, except that laser printed decals can be used basically right away. Decals made with your inkjet printer do need to be sealed because the ink will run if you put anything on top of it. So if you have a laser printer, you can just print, let it dry for a little few minutes, and you can add it right to your cup. If you have an inkjet printer, you will need to seal your decals. And if you need to know how to seal them, I'm gonna link a video right up here in the top right corner, as well as the description box below, so you can see how I seal my images. It's important to know that not all paper is created equally. I'm gonna link down what I use personally down in the description box below. First, you have to decide where you're going to get your image. You can file print any image that you want and turn it into a water slide decal, but it's really important that if you're making these and selling these, that you're purchasing your designs or getting them from artists so they can get credit. Now, while you can take whatever image you find on the internet, I really don't recommend that. The artists and designers really do deserve your support, so I'm gonna show you a few places where I get my images. I'm gonna take you over to my computer and walk you step-by-step step through how to make and print your water slide decals. And then I'll show you how to add it to your cup. So the first thing you need to do is find your image. Remember, this can be literally any image. It can be like a picture you take from your phone, a picture of your dog, a picture you find on Google, but if it's not something that you are making yourself, you really should find somewhere like the Hungry JPEG, Creative Fabrica, maybe Design Bundles. There's like a million different places you can find images with commercial rights. You wanna make sure you're being careful with the copyright and trademark stuff. So I am gonna have a video coming up soon about copyright, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. For example, I'm gonna show you on Creative Fabrica. I like Creative Fabrica because I have a membership and I can download SVGs and fonts um, with that membership. So I'm gonna search crayon SVG and then I'm going to find the one that I want. So it's this crayon split monogram. I'm going to download it and then on your computer you need to make sure you unzip the file. You can use a variety of different programs. I'm gonna show you in Microsoft Word. The same principles would apply if you're using something like Google Docs. So you want to insert a picture and you're gonna find wherever you have it on your computer. And once it opens, you can resize it. If you double click on it, you can, you can crop it, you can also do wrap text to be tight, which happens to make things easier in terms of moving things around. And if you're gonna fill up this whole page, with things you want to print. Um, you, you want it to be tight so they all fit nicely. You can drag and resize your image or you can go over here to where it says height and width. And after you have you know measured your cup, you can change the size so it's the proper size. And then from here, you're going to go to file print and choose the correct printer. I like to, for water slide paper, choose photo paper glossy and do it at high quality. If you want to use Silhouette Studio, you're gonna do the same thing. File open, find your image, and, and then you can move it around. What I like to do is change the media size to letter and that way I know that it's eight and a half by 11, so it will print on my printer on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Um, remember, anything you can print is something you can make into a water slide image. So I do suggest finding 
other images and filling up this paper. But again, file, print, and you might have to play around with your settings as well to make sure it's right. Make sure that you insert your actual water slide paper into your printer. And when it goes to print, it will print on your special paper. Once you have that, you want it to dry for a few hours. Then you can seal it. I will link that video right now. And then you're going to be able to add it to your cup. So I seal my water slides with a clear spray paint plastic dip combo. And I will link that other video down below. Once you have spray painted, let them dry for 24 hours. After 24 hours have passed, you're ready to add it to your cup. In order to add it to your cup, you're just going to put it underwater for about one minute and then it'll be ready to add to your cup. Make sure that you have a smooth surface to add your water slide to. If you have glitter or if you don't have glitter, you wanna make sure that you are freshly doing this on some bright tone. So a couple of coats of bright tone before you add it to your cup. If you have a glitter cup, you wanna make sure that it's completely smooth before you add your water slide decal. So get the surface just a little bit wet. Just take your hand, um, dip it in the water and get your surface a little wet. So when you're ready to add your image, you can just slide it off the paper backing and it will attach to your cup. One of the best things about the water slide images are that they are repositionable. So you can adjust your decal to be exactly where you want it um, before you let it dry. So what I like to do is get it where I want it and take the silicone brush and gently squeegee out the water underneath the decal. You may need to hold on to it to keep it in its place, but you want to get out as much water as possible. And then you're going to let this dry for 24 hours. You can take a paper towel as well and wipe up any excess water. But again, this is going to dry for an additional 24 hours. So you let it dry after it seals for 24 and then after it's on your cup give it another 24 hours so a total of 48 hours have passed since you last spray painted it then you're going to do a few coats of bright tone over the entire cup just to stress you want to make sure that you have a few coats of bright tone before your water slide decal and a few coats after make sure that you don't add your water slide to a freshly sanded cup you want to make sure you have three coats of bright tone on your surface before you add your water slide. Make sure that you use about two to three milliliters per coat of bright tone. You can apply with a brush or with your finger and you need to let your each coat dry for four hours. So repeat that process three, four, five times so you have several coats on top of your decal. And after your final coat, wait about five days before wrapping it up. Another type of decal that you might be interested in is a temporary tattoo. If you're interested in printing your own temporary tattoos, check out this video that I made right here on your screen so you can learn how to print and add your own temporary tattoo decals.